So we only use positive reinforcement here. We're now doing that same kennel behavior with Maggie, and you'll see that her trainer is actually feeding her while she's inside the kennel. So she learns that this tool, this kennel, is nothing to be afraid of, but rather a time when she might get some food. Now with May over here on the far left, we're working with a toy. And that's because in the wild, otters are tactile foragers, which means that they frequently use their paws to hold on to things like invertebrates, clams, mussels, and shellfish that really they would be uh, that they would be eating out there in the wild. Now, here on exhibit, if we give them things like big shells to work with and manipulate, what they do is they take those shells or those rocks and they scratch up the windows in front of you folks. So that wouldn't be too good for the exhibit. So instead, we give them rubber and plastic toys to work with so that they, um, they get to still use their paws as they would in the wild, but they're not jeopardizing the exhibit quite so much.